Interesting. And now uh, here's another section. I just added the uh, heading uh, on this one here. Uh, so vector angle. So uh, because cosine theta is greater than zero, if co if the angle theta is between uh, zero and pi over two, and cosine theta is less than zero, if if theta is uh, is less than pi over two and, and less than or equal to pi, we see that a dot b is positive. It is positive four theta is less than pi over two and negative four uh, theta is greater than pi over two. And here's I'll just graph it with all the uh, uh, components of it. So let's say you have this angle theta is the x-axis. Now we have the cosine theta is the y-axis. I'll just put a y like that. All right, so now we have, uh, I'll do this a bit better. All right, so that is uh, pretty decent, actually. Let's... All right, that's pretty good. All right, here I just fixed it up. So basically, here's the cosine uh, theta uh, graph like this. And this is at pi over two, just recall it. And here's at pi, like that. And uh, notice here, because we're only considering from zero to pi, from uh, zero to 180 degrees. So then this is positive. And then uh, I'll put this on top. Pi, and then uh, over here this is negative. So because cosine uh, theta is greater than zero, if uh, if theta is between here, and cosine theta is less than zero if it's between here, we see that a dot b is positive for uh, angles less than pi over two, and negative for uh, theta is greater than uh, two. So uh, the cosine theta is going to be, or the, the the dot particle will be positive or negative because it, it is dependent on the cosine of the theta of the angle. So there's dot product and it's dependent on it. Yeah, so it depends on the angle. It could be negative or positive. All right, going further, uh, we can think of the dot product A dot B as measuring the extent uh, to which A, yeah, A and B vectors point in the same general direction. Uh, so it's zero if they are perpendicular and negative if they point in generally opposite directions as illustrated below. All right, so for example, let's say you had a uh, vectors uh, A like this, this is A, and you had a vector B like this, and this is uh, theta, let's put uh, theta in between here. All right here, let's fix that up, so this is our B vector. There's our angle between them is theta. So this is a small angle, this one here, a dot b would be greater than zero uh, because uh, this angle is between here. So this angle is between there, so it's less than 90 degrees. And in other words, ang uh, theta is acute, like that, or less than uh, less than pi over two. Less less than pi over two, like that. And then if it equals to pi over two, uh, uh, then that's gonna be a zero dot product, and it's gonna be perpendicular, like this and this. This is um, perpendicular. This is gonna be your B vector, it's our A vector. And this is our angle is gonna be, well, yeah, this angle right here is uh, 90 degrees. So A dot B equals to zero, and theta equals to, pi over two, or uh, 90, 90 degrees, so pi over two radians. And then finally here, because uh, we show that it's negative for the angles greater than pi over two, in other words, uh, if it is uh, obtuse, so greater than 90 degrees, so let's say you had uh, angle A, and then this is angle B, I mean uh, vector B, and there's the uh, angle theta like that, and that's very uh, large, so we'll have A dot B vector, is greater, I mean, it's gonna be less than zero, it's gonna be negative. So this is, uh, this theta is obtuse. In other words, um, we'll have it as greater than pi over two. I guess, so very, very fascinating stuff here. All right, and going further, so in the extreme case where A and B point in exactly the same direction, we have the angle theta is equal to zero, so cosine theta is equal to one, because remember this is just one there. So when it's zero, it gets one, and then also when it's a pi, it becomes negative one, just for uh, reference, because we'll 
include this here soon. And this is um, like this. This is a negative one. Like that. Uh, so the cosine uh, theta is equal to one. In other words, a dot product, uh, let's go to that th uh, theorem right here. This is becomes one. This is equals to a dot b equals two right here. Uh, equals the lengths times each other. So in other words, we'll have a dot b is equal to the lengths uh, multiplied by each other. And uh, yeah, so that's that's it. Because cos cosine zero is equal to uh, yeah, this just goes to one. Yeah, so I'll just leave it like that because we just wrote it. All right, so that's what we have. That's fascinating stuff. All right, all right, and uh, lastly, uh, if a and b point in exactly opposite directions, then the angle theta is equal to pi. So cosine theta is equal to negative one, and a dot b is going to equal to negative uh, a negative length a times length b. Yes, very fascinating.